In this video, I will show you how to build a Bitcoin price ticker using an ESP32 microcontroller. This project is a fantastic way to dive into the world of the Internet of Things. It only requires a handful of components. By the end of this video, you have a fully functional Bitcoin ticker that updates automatically every 15 minutes, perfect to showcase your tech skills to your friends. If you are new to Internet of Things, it's essentially a network of physical devices like smart fridges, thermostats, or in our case, a Bitcoin price ticker that communicate with each other to automate tasks and make our lives easier. For this project, you use an ESP32 to fetch live data from the cryptocurrency market via an API. The board will send a request to a data provider and, if the response is valid, it will display the current Bitcoin price in US dollars on an LED screen. While we are focused on Bitcoin, you can easily modify the code to track any other cryptocurrency or even different financial data. One thing to keep in mind is that cryptocurrency prices can vary slightly between exchanges to the market fluctuations. So don't worry if the price on your ticker differs a little from what you see on other platforms. It is completely normal. Let's talk about what you need to get started. The components list is short. An ESP32, a breadboard, some jumper wires, and an OLED screen. That's it, just for things. I choose an OLED display with a SPI interface for this project. SPI requires a few more connections than other display types, but it offers faster communication. If you prefer, you can use an ITC display, which only needs two connections, or even a LCD screen. Just remember, if you change the display type, you need to adjust the code accordingly to ensure the ESP32 can communicate with it properly. Once you've selected your display, place the ESP32 on the breadboard next to it and connect everything with the jumper wires. I've included a schematic in this project repository on GitHub, which you can download from the link in the description below. With all the hardware connected, it's time to upload the code. I used both Tony IDE and Arduino IDE to develop this project, so I provided scripts in Python and Arduino. The core logic is the same across both. First, the ESP32 connects to a Wi-Fi network. Then, it initializes the display, sends a GET request to the cryptocurrency API, formats the received data, and displays the current Bitcoin price on the screen. The script is set to wait for 15 minutes before making a new call and updating the price. Some of you might wonder, why 15 minutes? Well, I'm using Coin API as the data provider. Their free tier allows 100 API calls per day, and distributing this call evenly throughout the day results in a call every 14.4 minutes. To simplify, I spaced the request 15 minutes apart. Before you upload the code, there are a few changes you need to make. First, enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Second, input your Coin API key. And third, adjust the code if you are using a different display type. If you are using the same screen as mine, no changes are necessary. Before you hit upload, let me share a quick troubleshooting tip from my own experience. When I first built this project, the screen poured on but didn't display anything. After some trial and error, I discovered that the issue was with the bound rate. It wasn't set correctly for my display. If you run into a similar problem, try adjusting the bound rate to match your screen's specifications. It's a small detail but it can make all the difference. If everything's set up correctly, it's time to see this project working. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this project as fun and educational as I did. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to learn more, check out my other videos, like this one where I walk you through building an automated replication system using Arduino.